Ah, how nice to see you again. So this is going to be a video that looks at Orchestral Essentials 1 and especially 2. And I'm going to do... I've already done loads of stuff on both of them before. And this is just a kind of a quick comparison to give you an idea. Because lots of people say, which one should I buy first? So we're going to look at the differences a little bit. And then also, this there is a new version that's just come out of OE2. Here it is, version 1.1. And so I'm just going to show you what's new in OE2, again with the rhyming. So broadly, if, if you only want to watch the next 20 seconds and then stop, you're fine, unless you want to see the new stuff in OE2, because here's the basics. Here we go, ready? Orchestral Essentials 1 equals bread. Orchestral Essentials 2, jam. Bread, or if you like bread and butter, bread and butter, jam. See, it's even red coloured for strawberry or raspberry jam. That's essentially how to think of it, I think. If you want your basics, if you want your bread and butter, you start here. They've all got very similar sections. Let's just go through very quickly. Full orchestra, mixed orchestra, same thing. Strings, brass, woodwind, percussion, keyboards and harp. Choir and sound design are switched around uh, for some reason. And we've got bonus instruments versus bonus. So it all covers broadly the same category categories rather but the difference is that here's your basics and here's some extra stuff so here if i just load up action i'm on only one there you go you've got everything in one patch for your action uh there and you don't get anything quite like that in number two by you've got suspense epic um epic is It's that. Here you have full orchestra with choir. If I just zip to the OE2 track. Sorry, you're off the screen. I'm going to have to be flipping around a bit for this, I'm afraid. Um... You have that for sort of magical uh, kind of moments. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go through every one. You can see what you can sort of, you know, just take a look here. You've got dark orchestras. You've got you've got a really good broad overview in one. If you've got your basics already in place, then what this is going to give you is all those details. It's going to give you a jam. It's going to give high violins with choir, bassoon with low piano and harp, where you've got these lovely combinations. Trying to get into more detail, you've got some cartoon stuff um, and. I'll just highlight the legato as well because here we have a, a legato combination. They've all got legato in, in pretty much all the categories here, but you have this nice. Um, the legato lines can be golden, and that's a really nice one. The cellos of bassoon there. You don't get any legato here, so there you go. Here's your bread and butter. There's your jam. You know. uh, let's go to strings. And I will make a little pit stop here with strings because this is going to show you what's new. All this stuff at the bottom here in OE2, small violins and violas. You've got three violins and three violas, and these are all new patches. But in all other ways, again, the same principles apply. Strings Arco, which is sustained to you and me. Uh, staccato, trem, tremolo, pizzicato, some effects. Uh, and you've got two, two really useful legato patches in the basic orchestral essentials. Violins with flutes, cellos with basses. Cellos with basses um, is just not that. Because I forgot to do that, haven't I? It's this. <laughs> How great is that? Violins with flutes is. Only one dynamic on that, I think. Um, cellos with basses is the, is the real prize there, I think. But you have, you know, your bread and butter. You have. You have. Of course, dynamics on there as well. What we have in two is that you have for the strings, you've got a sordino patch, and sordino means or consordino means with mutes. 
Uh, I'm going to be doing this all day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, and you hear that lush, beautiful tone. So it's not something you're going to get in one if you want that. But on the other hand, if you only got two, you wouldn't have the... You know, I'm going to keep saying the same things again and again. What you do have in two is you have these spiccatos, which I suppose I often use spiccato more, more than staccato. And fast note downs uh, with there. If you just play at low velocity, you get spiccato and then fast note down on that one. Um, so, you know, compare and contrast, really. Now, let me just show you. Let me just show you what these new patches are all about. Small violins and violas ensemble long. Have a listen. I'm actually going straight for chords. Perhaps I should just play single notes. The moment you play a chord, it's three three players of each, so six instruments uh, playing at once. If you play a chord, you've got 18 playing at once. Uh, simple maths. So if you just play one. It's got that slightly more intimate sound, doesn't it? And you go down to... How does it go down there? Oh, I just noticed that. I was going to say it goes down to C2. It actually goes down to A1. Because violas start there. Normally, they must have done some cunning pitch shifting. Now listen to that as we transition between the two. It's very smooth. I'm covering the ranges there where you'd expect to hear, uh, we're now bringing the viol violins here because they start at G2. Uh, and it's silky smooth, whatever witchcraft project sound do. Now what you can do if you've only got Orchestral Essentials 2, Here's a little trick I found. If you load the Sordinos, put it on the same MIDI channel. So we're playing both at once. And I think I have to take this down a little. Uh, no, it's the other way around. I took this down a little. Now. What you've done is you've given some definition to Sordino, which is on its own. You said an airy, smooth kind of sound. And if you want, if you, no, I've only got OE2 and I need to, you know, just big it up a little. It's a really nice combination, that. So, you know, you can, you, you, your buck goes a long way when you start adding it up. You've got flagello, you've got um, you've got this ponticello tremolando. So you don't have regular trem. Let me just show you the comparison between the two violas with cellos. So we're in the sort of mid range here. Anyone used to watch Lost? Um, and here is your regular kind of trem. The fuller sound, isn't it? Just switch this to um, mod wheel. Versus this more brittle. Uh, scarier. Brittler and scarier, but of course, you know, you, you you don't want to just have one, do you? And probably you're already getting the idea, you don't want both. And that's the problem. So only you can decide. Um, I got distracted. Uh, I'm sorry. I've, I've played those viol uh, violas long. I'm going to come back to this one, uh, the all shorts. And I'm just going to play you the three short. Um... There you are. Back. So it's a long short, isn't it, Mar Marcato? People get upset about this term because I, I'm not the one to be an expert. But uh, marcato in sample language terms nearly always means that kind of second, second and a half kind of duration uh, of playing a note. Whereas I'm told that's not really what marcato is. But that's I'm in the world of sample libraries. That's how I think of it. Staccato is going to be shorter. Now this is I noticed with this patch it's got quite a lot of uh, room in it. It's um, not as in 
Well, it's got it's got ambient room, but it's got um, it's not very harsh at the start. It's kind of quite quite delicate. If you're playing fast, precise lines, you wouldn't pick this. If you're playing something that's a bit needs a bit more space in it, I would probably turn that release up a little as well. I do this with a lot of Project Sam's uh, short patches. Sorry, I'm going off mic. Uh, this will allow you to hear that bit more of the room. Turn it right up. Sorry, I've got your bum note. Then you can actually hear the noise cut off quite abruptly there. So that's a nice sort of compromise, I think. And Staccatissimo is a shorter one. Now, this is where you will have your fast lines. It's, I suppose it's very much like um, Spiccato, although I'm sure the playing technique is different. I think you kind of... S mm. My niece plays viola. I don't, so I can't tell you what the difference in playing technique is. But sound-wise, they're pretty similar to me. Lovely kind of edge to it, isn't it? You know. Instantly it goes up. G5. Good range on it. And you have your pizzicato as well. well let's just do a little comparison. We'll load up um, the full orchestra. I don't think they ever say how many strings there are typically might be 11 violins and then there's some second violins and violas so we have a lot more players in this and this will be okay for angels too that's much more kind of defined and of course of course it doesn't go all the way down because we've already got violas and and Violins, not cello and double bass. There you go. Oh, I missed one, didn't I? I said I'd come back to it, and I normally forget to do things like that. But here we are. I, I was slightly confused by this, so I asked Project Sam, what's going on with this patch? All shorts, because I thought I will go between them on the mod wheel. Huh, no. What this is, is marcato, and it kind of layers um, staccatissimo with the mod wheel up and staccato with the mod wheel down. So that's going to have more of a... You hear that really um, sharp edge to it. Needs a bit of, um, a bit of that, doesn't There you go. I think probably I'd stick with the other ones, but it's an interesting idea. Right, so that, I spent quite a long time on the strings uh, there. Let's move both to brass so we can just do a little AB for you. Um, usual stuff, as you'd expect. We have the whole range of instruments, uh, long notes, uh, bidding. Did you just hear a bidding? I'm sorry. Uh, if you did, someone's trying to get through, and I should have turned off the web browser. Let me do that. Let me just... Go away. Sorry, whoever you were. Um, uh, you have long notes, staccato, staccato with mutes as well. So that's, again, your bread and butter. It's all there. No, it's not, because... <laughs> Flick that for mod wheel. So what do we have in OE2 by comparison? Well, uh, we have... They're kind of instrument groups here. The French horns uh, is this groovy little patch which actually goes to a kind of... Um... Oh, done it again, gee. Right. When you put the mod wheel up, it's kind of got that flatter business. So you've got great, noble French horns there. Um, I made, I missed the mod wheel on that patch personally. I would have I'd have liked the um, that flutter on another patch altogether probably. And you, I love this patch though. You see, I mean, 
mean, there's not a lot wrong with that, is there, really? It's fully orchestrated with horns and trombones playing octaves apart, so you get, as you play the one note, you get both. And by comparison, you go back to here. Sounds plain Jane, but of course uh, you don't always want it in octaves, so you get the idea. You pays your money, I'm afraid. Uh, and you've got some tuba legato trumpet. If you want to hear more of any of these, go to the individual videos and, and have a rummage around. I'm just doing a broad overview here. Uh, you do have the legato trumpet here, which is uh, rather good, if memory serves. Oh, for heaven's sake. You're all shouting at the screen. Isn't it lovely? Don't you want it? It's not in there. What have we do have in the basic, because the basic, don't forget, the basic does have legato as well. This has horns with trombones. See, I just click on it and I assume the sound changes. But I've got to change the track in Cubase. Kind of mid-range. I want it to go a bit higher. Uh, but... I think Bones' range isn't too high, so. So there you go. Um, let's just whiz through the others so you can do a direct AB, uh, and I'll play anything particularly pertinent. Uh, woodwinds. Now, woodwinds, we, we're in legato heaven here. We've got legato flute, which is fantastic. I'll just play a bit because it's so nice. I know, I know. Don't say anything. It's really low as well. I mean, it's great, isn't it? Gosh, oh, oh, bass going at five percent. You know, uh, flute with piccolo octaves long. Again, it's the same thing. It's your jam. It's your bread. Woodwinds, long notes, staccatos, uh, legato flutes with clarinets. I'll just give you a little reminder, and myself a little reminder for that matter. Uh, ah, see, I remembered. See, ha ha ha. It's a, an ensemble of various instruments. Lovely. You've got your ethnic flute, flute phrases, overbone, uh, flute. So we've got a few. We've got some, there is some jam in orchestral essentials. That it's I was perhaps slightly simplifying at the beginning, but you get the idea. Uh, with percussion. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Orchestral percussion kit. That's your. Oh, I, I can't say bread and butter again. That's all your basics. Your timpani, xylophone, your locus, it's got it all. It's got all you need for essential, basic stuff. Cinematic percussive effects, it's also got. Um... So it's got quite um, a good range of tuba de bells, jumbi ensemble, uh, jembi. Um, it's rather good, isn't it? So it's got it sort of does a nod towards the uh, the, the the bigger the ethnic, but it's not like um, huge epic percussion. Uh, whereas you have big drums and cymbals here. Big drums and cymbals. Who doesn't like a patch called that? Timpani hits and rolls. We've only got basic timpani here. There's a vibraphone, lovely bow cymbals. Actually, you know, you might still have to look elsewhere if you want those huge uh, tycos and that kind of stuff. Um, it's That's a thought for a revision in one of them, maybe. Um, keyboards and harp. Piano Mystique, which is nothing like that. have that whereas in here you have intimate piano and intimate piano extra dreamy uh, so you've got that on one 
That's Mystique. And this is Intimate. So it's pretty um, clear what the difference is there. It's more intimate. It's intimate, but it's not soft. It's not that super soft sound. It's uh, it's just, well, more intimate. Um, you've got a, some concert harp here, harpsichord, church organ. That's all good, useful stuff. You have the box organ here uh, for some reason. Uh, Cymbalom which is really nice. That's a really nice instrument, isn't it? Uh, prepared piano. If you don't know what that is, that's when they throw a lot of nuts and bolts on a piano. And you get some kind of weird sounds. Uh, concert harp pleasure day. Uh, choir, choir. What do we have on the choir? Do you know I've never actually done this? I've never just gone through each one and see what the difference is. R's versus oohs. Uh, and swell mms and textures. So there's a little more in the choir. There you go, and you, it's just a quick play on that. Uh, did I right? So sound design, yeah, because this is where the order goes slightly back to front. So sound design, uh, percussive drones and risers. Uh, who doesn't need some of them in their lives? We all do. And you've got percussive sound design as well. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> that just, uh, if you have I actually destroyed something there, I do apologize. That's got quite some kick in it, hasn't it? So, you know, that's pretty full on, isn't it? Uh, whereas here, any, any library that contains a patch called Glorious Carnage has to be um, applauded, really. Not so much the impacts, though, is it? Dystopia percussion. Let's just remind me. Incidentally, while I'm hitting things, I tend to use the Symphobia series more on this, my main rig. But on my laptop, I'm Orchestral Essentials. So, and I'm normally doing stuff in a hurry, so I don't explore it as much as I should. So, you know, you've got some... Equivalent there, percussive sound design, dystopia percussion is perhaps quite similar. And you've got various other bits and pieces, which is all very nice. Uh, bonus instruments. Um, it's brilliant for laptops, this series. It's as good as it gets. Uh, you've got, well, you've got a lot more in the original, haven't you? You've only got tuning and silence, which, well, let's just skip that for now. Uh, free jazz. Yeah, this is this wild thing where you, where you press the wrong thing. See, I'm going up. <laughs> it's this weird scripting thing where they just play weird stuff. Um, lazy strings. Um... Swap team. That's right, you've got... You can just nod towards your hybrid stuff. Uh, with it as well. So there you go, that's a sort of a broad overview of the instruments. The multis, I refuse to go through every single one of these and compare them. Uh, but what I will do, uh, he said looking at some notes here, so it might disappear for a moment, is that there are some new ones. And so I will play you new ones from OE2. Uh, Dancing with the Undead is a new one. Look, I've just put the same one up, haven't I? What an aegis. There we are. There's your comparison. More shouting at the screen. Um, Dancing with the Undead. Yes, please. And there's a, I think there was a couple of these that I thought were really excellent, actually, of the new ones. So these are going to make some use of these small violins. Um... <laughs> Da 
down the bottom, we have... Uh, that's going on, and we have this going on. Chimbalom in there, there's all sorts of things. Don't know what I'm doing, but that's fun enough, isn't it? Ice and fire. Which would you rather, ice or fire? <laughs> Let's have both. Tree next. There's some of the later ones I was particularly impressed with actually here. I go through all these once and then I do these uh, walkthroughs. Oh, I should make more notes really, shouldn't I? these uh, low velocity is playing a pits mid staccatissimo high okay. good cartoony stuff isn't it the Crawleys. I think this is getting into the stuff. Look, there's more at the bottom here. The Crawleys. Uh, not that far from where I live, there's a place called Crawley. And so, for some reason, this is a... I think of this as people who come from Crawley, which is probably not what I had in mind. Right, this is really nice, I think. Where am I doing? Where am I doing? What am I doing? That's great for sketching stuff out, isn't it? That's beautiful. I don't know what that name is about. Someone will tell me. Too many regrets. How true. Eh? Uh, right. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that flagello, which is adding a lovely thing, but just... For my money, just a bit too much of a lovely thing. It just softens it slightly.
There you are. Sorry, I can't get carried away. Both those last two, the Crawlies and Too Many Regrets, they're the kind of multis I absolutely love. They're so playable. You can just... You, you're just away with them. Uh, well, that's it. That's sort of two things in one, an overview of one and two, and the new stuff in two. I hope it made some kind of sense to some of you out there. Thank you very much. There'll be more fun and sugary goodness uh, soon, I've no doubt. Bye, all. Bye.